Earlier, we told you about the January 6th defendant arrested with weapons in President Obama's neighborhood, but now another January 6th defendant, a grandmother and former Trump supporter who went to prison for her actions on January 6th, who's now speaking out against the former president for what she calls his gaslighting. Gary Tuckman has more. As she celebrates America's independence at a fireworks show here in Boise, Idaho, 70-year-old Pam Hemphill can't help but remember how she felt on July 4th of last year because she was getting ready to go to prison. Even though you were unhappy and scared in prison, you feel you were guilty of what the crime was. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. The January 6th Capitol insurrection, mother and grandmother Pam Hemphill, who had recently been diagnosed with breast cancer, was there. She had long enjoyed taking video of political events and told police at the Capitol she was a citizen journalist. But she also believed former President Donald Trump's false claims that he won the election. And this is what she was telling people outside the Capitol as she shot her video. Whose house does it belong to? It's my house. Come on in. You just come in. Come on in. She continued shooting video. We are the people. And Pam Hemphill ended up inside the Capitol building. She flew back to Idaho, still believing much of the dogma she had been taught that led to her coming to the Capitol. The Democrats wanted this to be a communist country and that they were um, drinking babies' blood. Did you believe that? No, I thought oh. that was kind of weird. Okay. Um, but did you believe that it was the Democrats wanted this yes. to be a communist country? Yes. It wasn't until months later that Hempel was arrested on multiple charges. After a plea bargain and pleading guilty to a legal entry to the Capitol, she was sentenced to two months in a federal prison in California. I live with the fear every minute. You just live with it. When she got out of prison this past September, she did have questions about the far right talking points about Trump, but still considered herself a Trump supporter. However, a few months ago, she had a revelation. So when you heard the former president say that he would consider pardoning some J6ers, it changed your mind? Absolutely, 100%. And what did you then think of Donald Trump? That's it. He's just a master manipulator. He doesn't believe anything. He just thinks he's smart enough to pull a wool over you. But there's people like me waking up. And do you feel the former president's responsible for that? Absolutely. He's the king of that gaslighting. It's a cult. It's a cult. And then this happened just about a week and a half ago. A right-wing person wrote something that's inaccurate, but it's important <laughs> to this story. I'm going to read it. American Justice, 69-year-old grandma with cancer, given more prison time for walking inside U.S. Capitol than Hunter Biden for sharing classified documents with foreign regimes and multi-million dollar bribery schemes. And then Donald Trump shared it on his Truth Social with the comment, horrible. When you saw that or heard about it, what was the first thing that went through your mind? I got up, I was very angry, and I said, this is it. This is it. In fact, Hunter Biden recently agreed to plead guilty to two tax misdemeanors to resolve a felony gun charge in exchange for a recommendation of probation. What Pam Hemphill decided to do was call out the former president on social media, writing, Please, Donald Trump, don't be using me for anything. I'm not a victim of January 6th. I pleaded guilty because I was guilty. Stop the spin. And now Pam Hemphill wants to go back to the U.S. Capitol, but this time to testify under oath about January 6th and she's already prepared what she wants to say if she's invited. I am not a victim of the government. The Justice Department was not weaponized against me. I was a participant. We broke the law. And she talks about the Capitol Police in her speech. In the crowd, I was pushed down. My head was trampled on. My shoulder pulled out. The Capitol Police saved my life that day. I want them to know how truly grateful I am to them and how deeply sorry I am for what happened and how they continue to be treated to this day. Today, Pam Hemphill takes solace in her supportive friends on social media, her family, and God. What would you say to Donald Trump if you could talk to him face to face, like you're talking to me right now? Retire, get honest, because you know, when you meet your maker, you know, that's more important. Gary joins us now on a journey she's been on. What is next for her? So her sentence includes 
three years of probation. So some of the conditions are she can't commit a crime, she can't own a gun, she can't leave the state without permission. Politically, she says she wants to remain a registered Republican, but if Donald Trump runs against Joe Biden next year in the general election, there's no way she says she'd vote for Trump, she'd vote for Joe Biden. If it's a different Republican, yes. she'll do her research and make a decision closer to the election. One final thing, Anderson, Pam Hemphill is still fighting breast cancer, mm. and she says right now her life's goal is to, quote, make things right. Mm. Anderson. Well, we wish her the best with her health and her family. Gary Tuckman, thanks so much.